The great actor cliche is someone says, I want you to be in a project, and you say, let me read the script. But in this situation, I suppose you didn't have to. No, I mean, I wouldn't have had to. I, I did read the scripts before I ever was aware that David Fincher was interested in me for the, for the role. Um, so that just made me want the part even more. I read with him a couple times, and I think he had to sort of send my tape to, to Kevin Spacey and make sure he signed off on me. So I had to wait a little while for that, which was terrifying. How long did Kevin make you wait? Well, you know, it was a lot. It was actually a pretty long. It was a few months before um, before we had like the final, the final word. I wonder what it would say if Ke like Kevin's validation. Can you imagine <laughs> just waiting with that sort of Damocles over your head? Well, yeah, I can imagine because I was <laughs> for like two months. <laughs> no, I mean, if it hadn't turned out that <laughs> way, just, would? Uh, yeah, I would. I would. I would feel very differently about Kevin Spacey today. <laughs> As, to this point, it's certainly positive, I imagine. Oh, I mean, now he's, you know, he's my on-screen boyfriend, right. so I love him. I'm sorry. Well, listen, I'm only at, I'm at seven, so don't get past that. I only well, at seven. seven. You've seen enough. I've though, seen enough. Know. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. boyfriend seems a stretch. That, that is a stretch. Yeah. <laughs> that is a stretch for sure. I follow you on Twitter, and you had tweeted out uh, in support of marriage equality, which is wonderful. And there was an article that came out talking about how there's going to be an NFL player who's on the verge of coming out of the closet in the next handful of months, which is pretty incredible. And you're in Brokeback Mountain, so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you feel like your credentials are pretty tight when it comes to equality, aren't they? Yeah. Well, I think it's ridiculous that we even have to have the conversation about it. I think it should just, you know, it should just be a no-brainer. Our storytellers responsible for telling those stories, people who can make choices. Yeah, I think so. I think that's, I mean, that's one of the reasons why being an actor is, is so exciting. To tell, you know, sometimes we tell really dark stories and um, sometimes we tell ridiculous, you know, funny stories that maybe don't have as much meaning as, say, a Brokeback Mountain does. Um, being a part of something like that is so special and so unique. And do you know when you're doing, you've made that choice to be in that film, that it is that, that it is actually bigger than just being a film? Um, honestly, at the time, I knew it was important, but I had no idea how much it would resonate and how important it would then be, you know, um, for the rest of my life and, and how much it moves people. What do you remember from Heath? Um, well, I remember I was really concerned because I, am, uh, I was not that much younger than him and I was playing his daughter, so... I thought, oh gosh, this is going to be a horrible mistake. Um, but I, I wasn't going to say anything about it. So um, I was really nervous that, that it wasn't going to be real. Um, and I was so wrong because he's such an incredible actor. And, and you know, they made me look pretty young as well. And, um, and he was very, very, um, very sweet and sort of... Um, he kind of took care of me. I mean, it, it wasn't my first movie, but I really felt like it was in a lot of ways.